What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, it seems that the fix is in. Okay? Two time unified heavyweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Anthony Joshua. 24 wins, one loss, no draws. 22 big wins by way of knockout. He himself was knocked out. 31 years of age, standing six foot six with an 82 inch arm reach. He will be facing undefeated former cruiserweight undisputed world champion U U Ukraine superstar boxer Oleksandr Usyk. Oleksandr Usyk, 18 wins, no losses, no draws. Uh, Oleksandr Usyk. 13 wins by way of knockout. He's 34 years of age, 6 foot 3 with a 78 inch arm reach. That's scheduled to take place September 25th in uh, the UK and the United Kingdom at Tottenham Stadium, if I'm not mistaken. With that said, uh, some interesting news came about as Queensbury Promotion CEO, legendary promoter, United Kingdom promoter, Frank Warren, has stated that he has now secured a fight. For the winner, which is Anthony Joshua, is going to be uh, a huge favorite going into this fight. And get this Frank Warren, he promotes undefeated two time heavyweight world champion, British superstar boxer, and fellow countryman of Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury. 30 wins, no losses, no one draw. 21 wins by way of knockout. 32 years of age, stands at six foot nine with an 85 inch arm reach. Tyson Fury is going into a highly anticipated trilogy match with Olympic bronze medalist, former WBC American heavyweight world champion, superstar boxer, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. 42 wins, one loss, one draw. 41 big wins by way of knockout. He himself was stopped one time in the last fight with Tyson Fury. He is 35 years of age, stands 6 foot 7 with an 83 inch arm reach. He and Tyson Fury are set to have their anticipated trilogy match scheduled to take place uh, October 9th, okay? Just two weeks after Anthony Joshua faces off against Oleksandr Usyk uh, September 25th. With that said, um, Frank Warren, who co-promotes Tyson Fury in the UK, and Frank Warren, he also promotes another heavyweight, British heavyweight superstar title contender, undefeated, 13 wins, no losses, no draws, 12 wins by way of knockout, 35 years of age, 6'6", six six with an 80-inch arm reach, that being Joe Joyce. So get this. Frank Warren has now stated that if Anthony Joshua wins the fight, Joe Joyce is going to have the opportunity to face the winner. Now, here's the kicker. If Tyson Fury loses the fight, Joe Joyce is going to fight Anthony Joshua. So if Anthony Joshua beats... Oleksandr Usyk and Tyson Fury beats Deontay Wilder, then Anthony Joshua will face Tyson Fury in an all United Kingdom British heavyweight undisputed showdown, a mega showdown in the UK. But if Deontay Wilder beats Tyson Fury, then Anthony Joshua is going to fight Joe Joyce. So the saga continues with having Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua placed on the shelf. So, Frank Warren, who co-promotes Tyson Fury, he's going to push for the biggest fight in UK history with Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua should Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder in their trilogy in October. But if Tyson Fury loses to, Anthony jo uh, um, to Deontay Wilder, then Frank Warren is going to push his other fighter, Joe Joyce, to face Anthony Joshua. So, essentially... Frank Warren is letting the world know that he's going to push either one of his fighters to fight Anthony Joshua, depending upon the outcome of Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Now, we know Deontay Wilder had been trying to face off against uh, Anthony Joshua for quite some time in an all-undisputed showdown. Anthony Joshua is on record stating that it's uh, not about the man holding a belt. It's about the belt and the legacy. So this was after his IBF mandatory showdown with Kubrat Pulev in which he dispatched of Kubrat Pulev. So Anthony Joshua, he stated that it's not about the uh, it's not about the man, meaning it's not about the boxer holding a belt. It's about the legacy and the belt itself. So that's what he's after. And he says he's been looking to secure an undisputed showdown for quite some time. 
Well, we have been going through this dance between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua for quite a bit of time, and we have been uh, um, void of getting that fight, and then they both lost. Anthony Joshua, he went into a showdown with uh, former unified Mexican heavyweight world champion superstar boxer Andy Ruiz Jr. That was June 1st of 2019, okay? And Anthony Joshua was upset by Andy Ruiz Jr., okay? Uh, prior to that, they put plenty of roadblocks in the way of Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua. Eddie Hearn, Matchroom CEO and promoter, promoter of Anthony Joshua, also placed uh, British heavyweight title contender, star boxer Dillian White as a roadblock, told Deontay Wilder if you fight Dillian White, then you know uh, you possibly could get Anthony Joshua. And Deontay Wilder, he stated, if you guarantee me Anthony Joshua in the contract on the back end, I'll fight Dillian White. And Eddie Hearn said that was unfair to Anthony Joshua because Anthony Joshua had a fight with his mandatory challenger in all this, uh, and Alexander Povetkin at the time. Uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, posturing. They stated that, uh, you know, Wembley Stadium wasn't available, but then they fought uh, Alexander Povetkin there. They stated that he had to fight his mandatory. He should fight Dillian White. There was a lot of roadblocks in the way of making this fight happen, okay? And so now here we are once again. When Anthony Joshua was stating uh, that it's not about the man, it's about the belt and the legacy, they did their best to get Tyson Fury, who was contractually obligated to fulfill a trilogy match with Deontay Wilder, to avoid his trilogy match and face them in an all-undisputed showdown, although he was contractually obligated to give Deontay Wilder a trilogy match. Deontay Wilder had to take Tyson Fury to arbitration and mediation and win that and force Tyson Fury in a trilogy match. And then Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn said that they were disappointed when they should have knew all along he had a contract to fight Deontay Wilder in a trilogy match. So why were you disappointed when you know he took it to court? What did you think the judge was going to rule in when you know he was contractually obligated? Because when Andy Ruiz was contractually obligated to give Anthony Joshua an immediate rematch and Andy Ruiz was calling for an undisputed showdown with Deontay Wilder, well, Eddie Hearn, he says, well, Andy Ruiz is under contract, so he has to fulfill his obligation or we're going to take him to court. And Andy Ruiz, he needs to fulfill his obligation simply because we gave him the opportunity. Well, what about Deontay Wilder giving Tyson Fury the opportunity to resurrect his career after he went on a three-year hiatus after being suspended and not fulfilling his rematch, immediate rematch clause and contract with Vladimir Klitschko, the former reigning 10-year ten uh, ten reign heavyweight unified world champion hall of famer so you wanted andy Ruiz, andy Ruiz, who was signed with the pbc premier boxing champions founder and advisor al Heyman, as well as deontay wilder so after andy Ruiz upset anthony joshua june 1st at madison square garden andy Ruiz he started to talk about a possible undisputed showdown in the united states with deontay wilder but eddie hearn and anthony joshua was having none of it and they took they they told anthony andy Ruiz. If he tried to pursue an undisputed match with with Deontay Wilder, they was going to take him to court because he had to contractually obligate, fulfill his contract for the immediate rematch. But when it came to Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, they didn't want Tyson Fury to fulfill his contractual obligation to Deontay Wilder. And then they said that they were shocked that the judge ruled in that favor. Well, why would you be shocked when you was in that position and you stated that you was going to do the same thing in return to Andrew Weeks? But now you're shocked. And, and place blame on Tyson Fury as if Tyson Fury didn't attempt to do everything possible to maneuver around the trilogy to make this fight happen. It was out of his hands that the court system told Tyson Fury he had to fulfill the trilogy match or retire. So it wasn't Tyson Fury's fault because according to Tyson Fury, June of 2019, he stated that Anthony Joshua himself came to a two-fight agreement for 2021. Only thing he had to do was get past De Deontay Wilder in the trilogy and Anthony Joshua had to get past his IBF mandatory and Kubrat cool Pula. So with that stated, why were they surprised when the judge ruled in Deontay Wilder's favor that he had to fulfill the obligation? But they were going to they were unwilling to allow Andy Ruiz to go into an all United States undisputed showdown with Deontay Wilder. But they wanted to do vice versa for the UK. And now here we are at this situation where now they're talking about Anthony Joshua will fight Joe Joyce if Deontay Wilder beats Tyson Fury.
But if Tyson Fury beats Deontay Wilder, then Anthony Joshua's going to fight Tyson Fury. So you see the maneuvering around the American heavyweight world champion Deontay Wilder to avoid him to become undisputed. Because see, when you have a United Kingdom or undisputed show now, there's been a drought, a over a hundred year drought since the last time you had a undisputed heavyweight uh, um, United Kingdom world champion over a hundred years. So you put Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury in the ring, it's a win-win situation. Whoever loses, it doesn't matter because they will have delivered the biggest fight in UK history and they would have ended the drought, a hundred year drought, if you're Frank Warren. Okay? So if you're Frank Warren, your best interest, if your fighter Tyson Fury can't make the fight happen, is to give your other fighter an opportunity to, to become world champion, and that's Joe Joyce. So we see how this is uh, playing out. So expect Dillian White to become Deontay Wilder's mandatory. He beats Tyson Fury. Expect Joe Joyce and Anthony Joshua to fight. And uh, Deontay Wilder will possibly face off against Andy Ruiz. Dillian White will be his mandatory, so he'll possibly have to fight Dillian White. These are the games they play uh, to avoid Deontay Wilder from fighting Anthony Joshua. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon and get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L. D B C shout out to new media shout out to black media row make sure you like your shitty videos that's all I got for you peace hey this is Ebony Bridges blonde bomber and you're watching blue blood sports TV